All right, before we start this latest edition of Sessions with Steph, I'm going to ask for my guest here to just put a little background guitar music while I do an introduction. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. So you know this is going to be a hell of an episode of Sessions with Steph. Just listen to the smooth, sultry guitar playing of my guest. It's going to be a fantastic episode full of music, gig talk, uh, talk and shop music. Uh, we've got an amazing guest and I'm, I'm waiting to announce who it is. You already know, you've seen him probably somewhere in Montreal and other places, I, I, I would imagine. Uh, but I'm so excited to do this podcast. I'm saying hello to Lisa. How you doing, Lisa? Good, how we are you? We got also a guest, a guest here. We got Guido Grasso is in the house. He's checking I'm out. He's in the background somewhere. He's, he's in the background. <laughs> he's in the background. Um, and it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be a fucking rocking episode of Sessions with Steph. Uh, thank you all for watching. Now, before, actually, you know what? Fuck this. Let's start with the drink. <laughs> Let's start with the drink. Cheers I was going to say, though. let me do the spot. No, no. We, we do a little cheers just to start oh the God. show. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, 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 cheers. Where everybody knows your name. <laughs> there you go. My band used, one of my bands that I played with used to be that. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that was good. So, guys, welcome back. Yet another edition. Before we get to the podcast, and I introduce this amazing <laughs> Thor like <laughs> guess like, who's an amazing guitar player, singer, songwriter, like wow. Um, I gotta get to the sponsors. So yes. we're gonna start off with we've got an oldie but a goodie, Van Cropsel <laughs> from Remax. You are is it Remax Alliance, I believe? It is Van Cropsel, you are the real estate agent of all real estate agents. You are fantastic, such a nice guy to 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 deal with residential commercial he is ready for anything takes his time makes sure you're either happy with your purchase or happy with uh your sale he gets the price you're looking for he makes sure you buy the house you want van Cropswell, you are fantastic thank you for sponsoring us you guys if you're looking for a house or selling a house call van crop so you can get him at 514-438 Four zero two nine four seven one. So that is the uh, contact number for Equipe Crapsal, which is Van, obviously. V A N C at Remax Quebec dot com or Van dot com. Thank you so much, Van. You are the real estate guru. Thank you. And our next, another recurring sponsor. Fantastic. This I said this on a couple of podcasts ago, but. P.F. Langelier, yes. Franco Palmitano, thank you so much for sponsoring us. Guys, doors, windows, aluminum, anything aluminum he can do. But it was funny because I brought him up. My dad watched a podcast and said, oh, my God, he did my doors and windows yeah. at the house. And he was phenomenal. Such a nice guy to work with. The work He works efficiently, mm -hmm. uh, w extremely well. His employee, everybody, everyone that has to do, anyone that has to, that works with uh, P.F. Langelier does amazing work my dad was so happy to have them and was so happy with the work the doors and the windows were beautiful they do all kinds of work they yes. are located on langelier lisa what is their address i will tell you where they are <laughs> by the way it's like 20 30 years of business that they've they been... have been over 40 years okay it's a well you see family run business <laughs> see it's because i had this shot to start i thought it was 40, but I said 20. Anyway, it's 40 no, years it's of business. Overall, it's family run in the borough of St. Leonard. And he sells doors, does balconies, does railings, all high quality wow. and affordable price. So, Porte Fenêtre, Langelier, 8183 Boulevard Langelier, St. Leo, H1P2B7. You can contact them at 514 326 0086. Thank you so much, Porte Fenêtre, Langelier. Thank you, Franco Palmitano. And now let's get ready to rock. So, once again, an amazing guest, Mr. Paolo Stante. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, guys, guitar player, singer, songwriter extraordinaire. The band sounds amazing. The album sounds amazing. I listened to it from head to toe, and uh, I loved it. It's a, I'm going to say it's rock with a bluesy edge. Uh, I'm trying to think of what kind of vibe it gives me like it's kind of like i don't know i'm gonna say i don't know like a zeppelin meets 
a Zeppelin meets Aerosmith kind of rock. I don't know why. I'm, oh, yeah? But with a, with, a, with a blues edge. Yeah, okay. Right? So, I don't know. I hear some of the riffs once in a while. As long as you like it, man. Like, I loved it. So I, I loved it. Um, thank you. Yeah, amazing, amazing songs. Uh, they sound great. I believe you did your album launch about two months ago, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, at the end of, uh, the end of March. The yeah, end of March, okay. The show was okay. Uh, at the Wheel Club. At the Wheel Club. That's that amazing. Really, yeah. It was a good night. Amazing, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, how, what... How many albums is this? Is this your? The, this is smart? actually the uh, the fourth album. fourth album. How would you describe the style of music that you? I mean, really, primarily, it's it's a, a blues rock album, yeah. but it has elements of country. I mean, there's one or two country songs, and there's a bit of a, a jazz tune in there. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's it's basically what I am. Uh, heavily rooted in you know the the Zeppelin and the Hendrix and all that, but I like to do a bit of everything too. So. Bit of a mixed bag. Where did you record the album? Because it sounds great. Thank you. It was it was recorded at uh, Third Eye Studios, and the, the guy who recorded it was uh, Dan Legault. Oh, Dan Legault. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't he, he? Does he play in the band as well? Uh, not not in my band, no. But I am in a band with him. Okay. Okay. Vintage Vibe. Oh, that's I'm, right. I'm in, a, I'm in a lot of bands. So guys, if you're yeah, exactly. So if you want to see a gigging musician based out of Montreal, right here. I mean, Paulo plays everywhere. Probably you walk I'm into to. you. You probably walk into a, any uh, establishment that has music, and he's on any given f Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're at one of them. Uh, so far. So I mean, far. Well, it varies, but you know, so far it's shaping up to be a pretty good summer. So. So what uh, do you want to name the, some of the bands you play with? Well, there's there's my band, which is the Paulo, Paulo Stanley Stanley band, band, obviously. Yeah. There's a band called Vintage Vibe, yep. where I'm with Dan Legault and Kenny Dupree and Pat Blanc. And we do a lot of the McKibbins yep. you know, on the West Island and some downtown mm -hmm. once in a blue moon. Uh, there's also a tribute band I'm in that I, I play every so often called Rockology. Oh, that's, yeah. That's a medley, uh, classic rock medley kind of thing, multiple artists, and we do multiple songs from them. And okay. That's a little bit more of a, sh of a show band kind of thing where... Um, like corporate but, stuff. Corporate, where you know, play like Shea Morris. Shea Morris. Plays and, like that, yeah. and we're, we're playing coming up on the, at the playground. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. And we've got a couple of duos. You know, cool. me and Dan Legault. He, he's, yeah. he's actually a drummer, but he also plays guitar, rhythm guitar. So oh, he's one of those I can yeah, just do. He's one of those guys. All right, all right. Does, Way to go, Dan. <laughs> he does a lot of things. You know, <laughs> jack of all trades. So you kind of do a duo where he does like... Yeah, he he actually just plays a rhythm guitar. Rhythm guitar, yeah, you and you yeah. add to it and sing, right? Yeah, sing. Okay. He does some backups, and I also do a duo with uh, Kenny Dupree, where he's the main singer. Okay. And play some harmonica. So and, cool! Uh, yeah. Wow, wow, wow! Really cool. And yeah. and so you've you've come out with four albums. Yes. Um, when so how long ago did this this you know creating music and albums start? I think my very first album came out in 2013. That long ago, 10 years or 11 years now. Wow. Uh, yeah, and you know, I was I was I was proud of that one in that particular time. But as you mm -hmm. can, when you of hear course. that album and the second one, the third, you hear the obvious progression. Yeah. So obviously, I older, gotten better as a as a player, singer, writer, and also the quality of. The recording <laughs> made more bad. money. I mean, Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. Yes, yes. And I was able to afford better production. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Th uh, thank God, in this digital era, it's a little bit less expensive than what it used to be. Yeah. Well, it's it's a double-edged sword, right? But, yeah. But yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, but yes, as in terms of. My, in terms of production costs. Yeah. You can almost, you know, you studio can. time back then was so expensive because yeah, my God, my my brother, my sister-in-law had a studio, okay. Cherry Studio, mm -hmm. and fuck the amount of equipment in there. Yeah. It was racks and racks and racks of effects, EQs and compressors and like mm -hmm. just full, 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 full. And it's still like that to this day, but yeah. I mean, it could be condensed to a digital mixer. Of course. And it's not that bad anymore, right? No, they, one mixer can, can actually do yeah. a very good demo. Yeah. You know, of course, y you invest more money, you get bang for yeah. the buck. You can also record from home. And, you know, yeah. there's a lot of ways nowadays that it's a little cheaper. But like you said, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. So when you started back uh, on your first album, mm -hmm. your influences, well, how did you start playing guitar? How did you know that you wanted to be a guitar player, singer? Well, it's, it's always a, a silly story. <clears throat> but 
But I had, uh, <laughs> I always go back to the first time I ever saw Back to the Future. <laughs> it's the best. It had to be about three years old when I okay. saw it. And of course, you know. Johnny, be good. Exactly. You know, it's so good. That, I'm like, I want to do that. So. All right, guys, the blues riff from me. Watch me for the changes. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Guido's got it all. <laughs> exactly. And he calls his cousin. Yeah, hey, yeah. is your cousin hey, there? Chuck. Hey, Chuck. It's your cousin, <laughs> Marvin, Marvin Barry. Marvin you know that new song you're looking for? Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> it was so so you saw that, and then did you just say, "Mom, Dad, kind of thing"? I want to buy a guitar. Did you? Pretty much, but it took uh, it took a while for that to actually happen. Okay. Uh, I guess around when I was eight years old or so, they put me in piano lessons. I don't know why, but they did. <laughs> they were, well, if you learn one, you can learn the other, which is true, but that's not what I wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Uh, did that for a little while, but it wasn't crazy about the teacher, so I stopped. But it was basically when I was about fourteen. Well, yeah, fourteen going on fifteen. That's when I. My brother had a guitar that he picked up and learned a few riffs for about five minutes, and that was it. Okay. You know, he was able to do the, you know, the... Um, goes up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Sandman, right? Yeah, you, you could do that, but that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> the, the power record. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was done. You know, so... <laughs> so he kind of, he got you kind of inspired because he had the guitar well, there. Well, I, I, always, I always was... I always wanted to do it, but he, he did it, and uh, then the guitar sat in the closet for a few years, and then, well, you know, I want to pick it up and get lessons, and finally was able to do it. So. It's amazing, amazing. And did the voice come out of um, necessity, like, hey, I got oh, this yeah, I tool? Have to. <laughs> yeah, was it was it one of yeah, those? Yeah, I mean, when you hear a lot of stories about guitarists, you know, where you know, guitarists first, then. Yeah. You know, who sing? It's different. I'm not a singer, but I sing. It's like yeah. hearing singers, but they play guitar. They're not yeah. guitars, but they the, play yeah. guitar. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I was. All I got no one to do it for me, so I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, over time, and I'm, I'm yeah. still working on it. Wow. Did you yeah. Did you ever take uh, vocal lessons, or you just some vocal lessons? Yes. Okay. Uh, just to get the breathing and whatnot. Yeah. But I really, yeah. The, there's always room for improvement, and uh, well, I, I, I meet I meet some singers too. You know, they give me pointers. That's yeah, of course, of course. Well, uh, plus, I see meet me guitarists. They give me some some tricks too. You know, as musicians, we never stop learning. Yeah. And the day you do is the day it's it's a decline. Yeah, exactly. I find it's like if you don't want to do anything more, yeah. and it's not a it's not a matter of being faster or better or whatever no. it may be. It's just a matter of growing. And if you don't grow, then then there goes the musicality, right? Yeah. That's the, the you're whole never point. Really done. I guess you're done. You, you, you're done when you're dead. Exactly, exactly. You know. Um, so so, your songwriting process now is it lyrics first? Is it a story? And then how do I put that? Like, how's the music gonna sound to that? Or is it you come up with a, a riff? Of, a lot of times I come up with a groove. Groove first. Or something, and then okay, what what. Can I imagine what could fit in here? Like, what does what does it give the impression? What of? vibe is yeah, exactly. is this what song vibe? giving? You? And then, even if I if it's uh, even if it's not something personal or or that I've been through per se, I try to say, well, if I was in that situation, how I think I would react or say this or something like that. I'm gotcha. To, at least I try to put myself in that headspace, you know, to okay. understand. So, do yeah. you do you write all your own lyrics as well? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'll send. I'll send it to. Uh, I might just, uh, you know, ask somebody. What do you think of this? And it might yeah. change a word or two. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just Actually, sure. a lot of times, I run it by uh, some family members, like my father or uh, my brothers. Like, this, like this doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Oops. like any of this. <laughs> no, but uh, listen to that and uh, did some collaborations with, a, with a, some. Well, even with my bandmates too. You know, of, course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. They normally have some good input and. Uh, yeah. Are you the type of person that puts the song together all at home and then you give it to your drummer and you say, hey, this is what I want it to sound like? Or do you give them that creative space to say? I give them a lot of, I, well, I have a, I have a general idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, okay, there's a base, basic thing. But, and I might tell them, make it sound like this or that. But for the most part, I give it to them and see what they could come up with. Gotcha. Even when I say, okay, something like this, they'll do it and then they'll just take it to a, a whole new level and like oh well that's even better than what i thought yeah yeah so and you you play um 
<clears throat> so we had Amir on one of the podcasts, and he really spoke highly about the whole band, all of you guys, saying you guys are fantastic. Oh, uh, he's too fast. And uh, yeah, he's, he's everyone and, loves Amir. He sees every band, so he does. The, and one of the her question was, you know, who's the band that like who do you look look at? I mean, you see tons of bands, yeah. and your name came up right away. So wow. it's that's a um, thanks, man. That's a, that's like a star on the Walk of Fame, you know. Yeah. That's like a the Amir. It's a, Amir proved. He literally goes to two shows a week, if I'm not mistaken. He, uh, any kind of show in town, he tries to make it with, with he, everybody. Well, that's where I met and, him. And, and all kinds of music. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so totally. It's not, it's not just in blues and rock. No, he, he likes no. Real audio file. You know? Yeah, yeah. He really likes all of it. Yeah, he yeah. likes, you know, uh, instrumental guitarists. He likes it all. He really yeah. does. <clears throat> so... Um, how do you like? Do you ever have plans of taking this new album, let's say, going on a tour? Yes. Or you do, oh, eh? God, okay. Yes. Are you planning it as we I'm speak? I'm working on it. Okay. Working on it. In this day and age, I don't know because I've never done that, but it's probably different than the way it used to be. Like I don't know. Before you used to go out on tour to promote your album. Now the album's yeah. out, and of course you're always I promoting. Think, yeah, I, I don't. I, to be completely honest, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Gotcha. You, you get you hear everyone say this or that. I, I think it's just to play wherever you can and as much as you can and try to do your music. You know, not just go up there and play the same yeah. stuff that everyone yeah. heard a million times. Yeah, exactly. I can't I love, get I love no. This, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I love it, but you know, okay, yeah. they already there. It's done. Okay, yeah. Now, yeah. Something a little bit different. So. so I guess like nowadays you kind of like, you know, you apply to a bunch of festivals to play yeah. your stuff. Yeah. And then if something, you know, you get, let's say you get the Montreal Festival and then you yeah. get one in Toronto. Yeah. Well, then you might pick two or three cities in the middle or, you know, yes, I don't know, maybe do ide Ideally, the goal, <clears throat> like I said, working on it, Yeah. you know, trying to also balance, uh, you know, playing full time too and oh I have a pickup gig can you learn these five songs or whatever <laughs> true so I mean true. you know you do it yeah it's just you gotta be a little smarter with your time which admittedly I could be better at <laughs> so I'll admit that well, so. we're, we're musicians exactly right when you pick up the guitar or any instrument yeah okay I'm gonna learn these five songs it well, probably it's takes. Not, it's not so much the learning process. I I was like learning new things. It's just. It's the before and after, the doodling before and after, and then you yeah. you get an idea it's, and you're it's like. It's more the office work, which is the problem. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. Okay, you got to contact this and that. I'm like. Yeah. I just want to play music. I just I know. I want to be in an office. That, you, know, <laughs> you have to. You have to do that. Yeah. And social, like, there's a lot to do. Social media is a huge thing. Yeah. Which I'm uh, not a fan of, in yes. Italy, but that's... that's There's not many musicians that are, to be honest. Well, I, I, it's, it's just the over... You, it's a great thing, especially with the last few few years with all the lockdowns. The, yeah. Being, that, that's the good part of it. It's just yeah. the over-reliance of it, the, using it as a crutch. That's that's a bit of a the problem, but yeah. I, that's, I, an, that's another story. So. I work with... I play in a band... Well, she, she's an independent song singer-songwriter. She works with me in a couple of cover bands, but mm -hmm. I work with her. I put her little band together for her uh, original music. Right. And um, she's a great singer, pop stuff. But she got, like, one of her videos, not on the music aspect, went mm -hmm. viral. So it's now one of the goofy things, right? One of the goofy things. I know, so why, why do I bother <laughs> so, busting my head and, for, and just I'll just do random... <laughs> Okay, right? Yeah, there you go. She's Feeling literally it's... been trying to attach the music to her yeah. viral. Like, she's got half a million followers. Yeah. And she gets fucking so many views every Makes day. No sense, but she's trying to connect and I know. trying to get well, that right one thing. song. So she'll do, a, a, you know, try and use the, the goofy stuff and then have the song play in the have the same background, background and say, yo, I, did, I wrote this song for that reason. And, exactly. you know, hopefully people will go. But it's like, it's mm -hmm. such a different game. And it's yeah. like, what? And we don't know how to make it work. No. Like, there's no button you can press or course no. you can take. But... Um, Okay, so where do you see the Paolo Stante band going now? Do you, um, is it always writing new material and releasing songs and more albums or? Ideally, yes. It's it's also trying to play more more venues and, yeah. you know, bigger and better kind of thing, obviously. Absolutely. But it's also trying to play more and more our material and, and less covers. 
Yeah. You know, we, the regular bar gig, okay, you do mostly covers, but you throw in a couple of originals per set. Yeah. That sort of thing. So I'm trying to shift it. So yeah. at least half and half. So 70 you know, 30 to 50 50, 50 to, to hopefully 20, 30. Exactly. Right? Ideally, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, you know, uh, that's, that's it. You know, how, but, is that, how is that working for you? Is it. Is um, it um, not bad right now. Not bad? Well, you've got quite a following. People, people enjoy your music. People enjoy yeah, your music. I'm, they I'm come out when well, no, they know I'm, you're playing. They're gonna come and check and, and, yeah, and check I mean, it out. Uh, the people that know, the people that do know me, they, they so so far they like what I'm doing. Yeah. Just try to get a few more people to, to hear it. And yeah. See where that goes. That's that's about it, really. If you had to pick one song to tell any of the viewers, this song encap encapsulates what I do, like. What would be the first song that you would say, that, check out that song and you'll get an idea of what I do? Of a song already? Uh, no, your song. No, 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 one of mine? One of yours. One of mine. Yeah, like because I'm telling oh. them, go check you out. Yeah, What's yeah, the yeah. first song to listen to? God, I, that honestly is not an easy question. It's a question tough one, eh? Because it's all different aspects. Well, I saw you had different styles exactly. on just the latest album. There That's was it. different styles. and. Uh, uh, th 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 I mean... The, the the first track, Hell or High Water. Hell or High, yeah. It's a, it's a, that's a pretty good intro because it's it's it was great intro because it just comes into and you kind of kind of hear quite a bit of like a gives a bit at least I thought it gave a bit of a um, a ZZ Top kind of vibe to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Which I I kind of I channeled my Billy Gibbons into. <laughs> You know, it's a, I threw some of that in there. My son actually asked me to play that song because oh, yeah. I, I listened to it in the house oh, nice. and I was like, you know, I was, I was listening to the stuff and then I said, hey, yeah. I like that song and that's a great tune. Play it again, no, Dad. And, I, and, said, and he you. really likes it. Hey, uh, Hail or High Water, right? Yeah, Hail or High Water. It's a great song, great and opening. Then, and then, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, then I, I guess one, uh, something, uh, what I'm really proud of because it's a bit of a left field was a tune on that album called um, We Didn't Know. And I did yeah. that with uh, Kim Sho. Yes. She sang on it. Yes, and she's with, uh, I met her at a um, club, yeah. yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. In a, she's in quite a bit. She's Dave. got her own thing, but she, she's yeah. in the, oh, she's a great singer. I got to reach out to her. She's got to come on the podcast. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. We met in a, at, at uh, Archibald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was playing. Yeah. And she just came with a couple of people from her band, from uh, Dave Paquette's band. Uh, yeah, oh, you know, the names of Sonic Sorry, 5. Kim, there you go. Sonic That's 5. That's it. And, well, they have Sonic I know they have and, different variations. Very, yeah, yeah. Um, and and she was there with Karel, Karel, the other so, singer. Yeah. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't know them too too well to be honest. We had a drink together. They were yeah. so nice. I had very never nice. met them, and they said, "Hey, Kim, come Kim's, over." Kim's and I'm, a sweetheart. Yeah. That's, so yeah, I heard that song. It sounds great. Yeah, and both uh, sound I mean, great. On that I, was, song. I was thank you. I was proud of that one because it was it was more jazz. It was it was something like Sade meets Santana. Yeah. I always it had yeah. that vibe to it, you know, with the. Kind of like samba, almost. Exactly. Like, yeah. Because it does go on. The... Yeah, I remember that. That's and then, you know, we, you know, going towards. Wow. You know, yeah. the, the Santana esque. Uh, yeah, I mean, musically, I'm very proud of that one. There's a, there's also a, a country one, that was the second single, called Dream Girl, and that mm -hmm. was that's that's a that's a slower tune, but. I did that because my sister-in-law and my brother was like, you know what? They love they love country, especially my sister-in-law, and and country is actually huge. It's really it's really big. Yeah, like right it's now. It's kind of really resurging. Absolutely. With, you know, like guys like Chris Stapleton and all that. Yeah. So it's like, you know what? You should write a country song. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I'll try, and that came out. I guess that's I guess that's probably the most personal one, more or less. But okay. You know, but but it's I I think the album just. All of it. I'm a, I'm a mishmash. I'm, I'm a mess. So. <laughs> that pretty much, that pretty much sells You're it. an artist. Yeah, I guess. And as an artist, we, we want to put everything out there. We want us yeah. to be on the album. As much as you can, yeah. I remember back to, in the days where you had to come up with a theme. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to veer away from that, it's like, no, no, no. We'll do another album with yeah. that, let's yeah. say. So this theme has got to be this. And all the rock yeah. bands back in the day yeah. used to do that, right? Right. Uh, and one of the bands I like is Extreme for some reason when I was in high school I really really yeah. enjoyed them and they were one of the bands that said well no I'm doing what I want yeah. and Nuno was like that kind of guy that just yeah, yeah. I'm doing what I want and one's a fucking acoustic song and then the yeah. next one's a hard rock and that's what it is you know exactly um, so like, like what the Beatles did they did whatever they, they did whatever oh, yeah. they wanted well, they, so. yeah but they, they were the Beatles they were the Beatles <laughs> I was like yeah Paul but, can... I, but I, was, I was always to that that uh, school where 
don't limit you could be based in whatever but don't limit yourself yeah. to just that yeah. and experiment with it. exactly you know especially nowadays with social media back then you needed a, a look a sound and that yeah. was it now i think you can show all of it and whatever hits hits and whatever yeah. doesn't whatever man yeah. <laughs> you know be you yeah. I think that's what sells the most is be you. I guess. You know. We'll see. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, you just keep on playing and keep that's on grinding and that's pretty much that's, trying to Yeah. Yeah. So far so good. So, so far we'll, so good. We'll, we'll see. Well, the product is there. And every agent or every music um one of the people on one of the sponsors on this podcast, Fear the Sounds, shout out Francesca. Uh she always said it says it starts with she's a publicist, a music mm -hmm. publicist and an agent. Oh, and that's she, good to know. Yeah, yeah, so she's a publicist. Mind, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, she, she, the first thing she says is it's all about the production. It starts with mm -hmm. the music and the production. Put the money there. Yeah. The rest, I can help you. People can help you. But that will just, if you get that shot and you, you're not ready for it yeah. or it doesn't sound good, yeah. it's like, okay, that's next, it. next, that's right? Yeah. So production and you know not that you have to spend millions but no but put sure the time and sure effort because it's a product it's like a product. like like it or not yeah i don't like it but it is yeah yeah uh it is a product and uh yeah, yeah it's a solid product i think the, the new one so so is there a style of music that you uh that you eventually want to get to diving into i don't know you don't know I don't know. I'll like, did you like that samba is samba type feel that you maybe yeah. would kind of you know when yeah. you get into flamenco or I don't know. Yeah, I'm just mean, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a, you know. Yeah, right. Oh fuck! <laughs> you know, just, 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 just sits yeah. it out like nothing. Like Love it. <laughs> well, I'm faking it big time, you know. Robbie Krieger. Robbie, yeah. Robbie Krieger used yeah. to do a lot of that. Yeah. You just like like just. Well, that's a fake. So don't. don't. But yeah, but essentially that's that 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 sort of thing to really get into it. Yeah. To do it. Probably. Actually, that that always interests me. Yeah, I know. He's just like he's like. I say okay, no. Sam. Okay, cool. It's like I can see you cooking, and you're like this. I, I, I can't help myself. That's you know really good. Any Spanish caravan, Robbie Krieger, George. No, I don't. Uh, or, um, oh man, he he was big on the Spanish guitar. Or Desperado. Oh, yeah. Desperado. Yeah. Desperado. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a whole. It's a whole style. Like yeah, that's a whole. It's, it's, it's a different thing. And, and I different. grew up. I was I was considering myself you know a child of both worlds because I kind of my family's from Montreal and Saint Leonard the East End, bunch of <laughs> Italians figures, you know. So. <laughs> Where, where? The, the, you didn't go to Laurier, did you? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I was on. I was on. Uh, my father uh, moved out to the country just across the uh, Quebec border okay. in Ontario. Okay. So I, I really went to school there, but our family was around here on the yeah. West Island and in the East End. Yeah. So on the weekends, I, I always say I'm a country boy because we're out yeah. in the country, but I'm also a bit of the, the city, I, I'm best of both worlds. I got, gotcha. I, I was lucky about that. Uh, but even but in the area where I grew up, the only Italian around. Well, there was one more. It's the pizzeria. Yeah. <laughs> well, not even. Not even. Greek. Uh, but it was still yeah, are. But it was uh, you know heavily uh, Celtic. Okay. A lot oh. of Scot you know, yeah, Scots and uh, Irish and all that, but mostly mostly Scottish there. And you know you you hear I had to learn some you know some jigs and all that. Yeah. Oh. And then, you know you're faking it. Things, things like that. You yeah, know? yeah, I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, so, wow. but like, like you said, that's a that's a style thing. That's just yeah. a, that's just a cultural thing. Same when you when you play blues. You know? oh, there you Look at that, man. Like nothing. It's, it's just it's just, it's, it's it's the feel. Yeah. You know? So. So yeah, it's all different. I mean, cool. it's it's all simple and yet all very complicated. At so the what same would time, be so. what would be the style that you you're interested in haven't yet like that you would like to dive into eventually at actually, some point? Actually, well, actually, flamenco would be flamenco cool. would be. I, I would I would go all the way. I'd go to Spain or something and actually sit it. down with someone to learn it. You know, get rid yeah. of the pick and yeah, really, really do it properly. It's all the nails. The nails have to be yeah. grown. And I mean, long. I, I I keep I keep my nails long for. You know, some folk, yeah. some finger picking stuff. You know? Gotcha. But there was, you know, oh, wow. Things like that. Wow, it's so much fun. Cool. You know, 
Wow. Whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what you're going to get with the album. You hear his guitar playing. It's fantastic, guys. Oh, my God. Um, okay, I have a few segments that I do on this, okay. on this show. I'm going to start off with the first one. I don't know if you might have one. I don't know if it, okay. it's happened, but it's called Worst Gig Ever. So something... <laughs> Funny or stupid or, you know, I don't know, some drunk guy falls on the... Oh, no, that's almost every gig. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's it, almost every gig. It even, happens. Even great gigs, that happens. And we don't even no. think about it because it happens. So, you know, one of, one of the guys on this guest, yeah. <laughs> he threw a guy off the stage because the guy went on the stage, got in his personal space, and he just fucking threw him off. Yeah, I, I But the guy it. was handicapped. Like, he, oh, didn't, no. he didn't realize. And then he, he wanted... Anyway, this, he said this story off the <laughs> sessions oh, no. then he, probably thought, oh my he God. felt hor- he didn't know at the end of, of the course, show they're like know, oh I my know. god it's like fuck i didn't know the guy came and he was way yeah. too close to my mic and i don't like that you know like yeah. any musician i totally understood him but yeah. you know something crazy or something wild um, if you can think I, of I've something been, i've been lucky that so far even the worst or even sound because that's oh, always well, sound <laughs> that's all, just sound that in itself that, yeah that, that's <laughs> Even in places we play a lot and, and, and are really fun, but the sound sounds awful. I can bring up a place, and it might spark a memory. But do you remember Le Vieille Part in uh, Sober? Did you ever play there? No, I never played Okay, there. so you're, you're younger than I am. <laughs> this I wasn't guy, going to say anything, but no. You are, you are. <laughs> this no, guy, <laughs> this sound man was fucking special. Oh, really? Like, almost into a fist fight with the sound man. Yeah, no, those are great, aren't they? Fuck when you, when you argue good. with the sound guy. He was... And they are so important. Let's just say duct tape on the drums, like all over the drum. No, I know how my place sounds. And he's fucking duct taping and my drummer's like, dude, you're going to stop now. No, trust me. You got to trust me. No, I don't fucking want you. And it really got bad. tape on my drums. This guy, yeah, like he literally was, you got to mute the sound. And like he was putting X's on every skin with duct tape. I swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Every, I'm not a drummer, but I know that doesn't work. No, out no. Well. You, don't touch my drums. Like yeah, you yeah. tell me how to tune it if you want me to tune it a certain way, but I'm gonna yeah. tune it. Tell me you want it higher. Maybe get rid of a. Maybe. You yeah. know. Anyway, so just an idea like that. If there's something that. Nothing, uh, thankfully, nothing to that extreme. There was there was a, a a gig. I forgot the name of the place, but we played it. It was it was a place in. Um, oh Lord, where was it? I think it was a place in Valleyfield. It was a few years ago, but I forgot the name. But anyway, they, they just did not care what the hell we were doing. We weren't even <laughs> oh, getting, yeah. you know, like the people, the, it was dead, but there were people at the nothing. bar. We weren't even getting the, uh, yeah. Yeah, not even the one or not two, the nothing, one or two. nothing. But, but the kicker was, is that there was, there was an upstairs, and they had a DJ going, like, at the same time, and it was actually louder, like, mm. what you could hear the... <laughs> What, what we were trying to do, what we were trying to play on that. Terrible. Oh my god. So, that was a long night. Uh, yeah. Those are, those are those are hard. We've all done it. We've all done it. Those yeah. are hard. I I had to start a gig once where there was three tables of old men playing cards in a bar. <laughs> yeah. Well, and like, okay, you could start now. I'm like. What do you mean start now? I'm going to start. Like, they're fucking, there's money on the table. They're playing, yeah, they're playing cards. Game, like, they're in a, in a heavy poker game. You want me to start playing oh, no, while I, we're I paying wouldn't, you? I wouldn't start. <laughs> they t- while we're paying you, start. Uh, okay. Okay. And like, no one, kid. like, they didn't, yeah. as if nothing. They kept playing. Ah, rah, 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 they had money on yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so th- there's tons of that. Oh, good that you haven't had too many of those. That's amazing. So far. I mean, so not far. Not yeah, not going to win. I still got ways to go, I guess. So there's, a, there's another segment I do, and it's just simple. First thought. I'm going to ask you certain questions, and the first thought that comes to your mind, and, you know, it's simple. Favorite food. Oh, God, uh, that's pizza. Pizza. That's, even, it's, it's, it's a popular one. <laughs> even, bad, even bad pizza, I like. So this guy right here had one of the best pizza restaurants in the city for years. Still does. Still yeah. does, and, and his pizza was phenomenal. All right. uh, I used to go all the time. Anyway, great place. God bless. Guido Grasso, amazing pizza. Uh, Sapore di Napoli. Uh, it doesn't exist no Pure, more. but it I, was. I, I think it's called Sapore di Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else took it over for now, and it's not the same pizza. But they're nice people, apparently. Um, okay, favorite movie? Favorite movie? Yeah. Oh, That's man. a tough one. Because you're going by singular movie, not movie series. Or Could anything. be a series, you know? Could be uh, a series. Man, no, I don't have one. Well, maybe the Back no, to the Future. The the <laughs> they yeah, are, well, they are in one of the best, man. Best trilogy. Absolutely. Just, be yeah, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm down with that. I would totally what? go for that. 
one gigawatts. gigawatts. That's Seconds. the one. That's good. That's good. That works. And now I'm gonna get a little tougher with the questions. Oh, now it's oh, now oh, we're oh, going oh, down. <laughs> what would be a favorite lyric of any song you've ever heard? Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a Lisa question. Squeeze my lemon to the juice runs out my leg. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's great. That was perfect. You can't, you can't beat that one. That, that's really good. <laughs> and that was fast. Came up with that quick. I was just going to sing so wow. fast. Wow. Faster than the guitar playing almost. <laughs> um, I had that one pre <laughs> Just in there. Um, Let's go with who, uh, what's your favorite live show that you've been to? That's actually when I saw, <laughs> I, I forgot what year, but I saw Clapton and Jeff Beck together. Oh, yeah. Jeff Beck opened for Clapton oh. and then they got on stage together to do a few, a few songs. And my favorite moment when they did that, they did the Sly and the Family Stone, uh, oh. Take It Higher. Yeah. But they did it as an instrumental. So they were trading off. <laughs> Cheating. Okay. All they did was boom, shaka laka laka boom, shaka laka laka. Wow. So, so, so I think trading solos back and forth. Trading wow. solos back and forth. And that, was, that was pretty cool. Where was it? Was it at the, it was at the Bell, Bell Center? Center. Wow. Yeah. Not the forum? Bell Center? No. Okay. You're not that old. I no, got you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I, I saw many shows at the forum. Anyway. Uh, okay. So now we're going to, now it's getting a little crazy, okay. but uh, who would you say is the best front person of all time? Even though we know there's not a best, but who would, if you had to pick one, who would it be? That's, that's hard. I mean, you're always going to come back to the same top three or the top five at least where, you know, you're going to have, uh, you're talking about front men, right? Yeah. Front. It doesn't have to so, be the best voice, but, no, no, front but person. I mean, you, you're always going to get, you're always going to get the, the, the Roger Daltrey or Robert. Yeah. Grant. Yeah. I mean, probably if you really gotta, really gotta choose the number one, you get to, <laughs> really big Jagger, you know. Yeah, he's true. He's still yeah. doing it. Yeah. But uh, there's just, there's so many. Like, like would, you put, would you put, would you put, well, Steven Tyler for sure. Steven Tyler, yeah. Would you put uh, Brady, David Brady Lee Roth? Was great. Would you put David Lee Roth in there? Because he, I, I think so too. I, great I, front person. A front man, yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Vocal chops was a different story. Well, but. Even for that, it suited the songs. They were Absolutely, they were, yeah. They were great yeah. tunes, yeah. you know. Oh, no, the yeah. tunes were amazing, yeah. Yeah. It's just, I guess, I, I always was a, a Sammy lover. I don't know why. You know, I I, I love Sammy too. I, yeah. I, I, li I liked really both eras, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really going to split hairs about it. Gotcha, you know? gotcha. So now's the big one, of course. <laughs> you got to pick a guitar player now. Nah, there, there, <laughs> there isn't one. There isn't one, nah, but if you had to one. pick one. Neil's gone. I could, I could pick my one of my, I, I can't even pick one of my favorites <laughs> because there's, there's all a mishmash. Again, you're always going to get the same top, top guys, you know, Hendrix, uh, Hendrix. Ray. I love Dwayne Allman and Dickie Betts, a big Allman Brothers fan. Okay. Clapton, Clapton with Cream spe specifically. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Jimmy Page is up there Jimmy, too. Jimmy, of course. Santana, Johnny Winter. Were you part of that 80s hair? Nope. No, none of the... Still a little before my time. Yeah, but did you get into it later, like or no, not, not, like the Nirvana? Maybe that was a little well, Nirvana, later. Yeah, well, uh, I, that was growing 90s. up, my brother, my, my, I'm the youngest. I have two older brothers. So okay, brothers are my oldest brother. He he definitely loved the Nirvana. And the, the Nirvana, the Pearl Jams that you know the back Pearl then. Pearl Jam, okay. yeah, a little bit, a little bit of sound. But like the the Motley Crue loved, before that. Well, yeah, I mean some of it, some tunes yeah. wasn't big on on that. I mean my my father really <laughs> nailed it home early. You know, listening to. Yeah, Hendrix and the Beatles and the Stones and yeah. the Guess Who and all that stuff. And then, you know, as I started <clears throat> on my own and learning and, you know, really going into more blues, then I started to really listen to, we had some of it at home, Steve but not Ray a whole Vaughan. lot. But l not only with what well, we had Stevie Ray, but listening to what he listened to, to go back the gotcha. generation four with yeah. the Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf, Albert King, you know, to them to understand what they did. And what to get, it. yeah, yeah. The, the stepping stones. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, th there's really not. I mean, I'm. I mean, I guess my favorite. Is, I mean, I, I always really got, really liked Stevie Ray a lot. You know, yeah. like he's. I, I think he would be my my guitar hero, 
but I'm not limited to just him. You know, I, like yeah. I said, I love the Allman Brothers. Well, that's what makes you a great guitar player is that you don't just because if you follow one, then you sound like him. <laughs> yeah, I, I really <laughs> don't want to. Yeah. I'm, I rip off with a lot of I rip off a lot of people. That's which what, is the, which is what you're supposed to do. That's what everybody that's does. What that. they did, that's so. what they did. Everybody so. not rips off. It's you get a you get an inspiration. I, I love I love I think George Harrison is a great guitarist. Yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Very tasteful. Yes. Yeah. I think something is probably one of the best leads True. because it just yeah. fits the song perfectly. Yeah, and, it, and yeah. it's not and it's not just no. Yeah, you know, there's an actual story to it you know to it, it, yeah and it's it's and it's got to fit the song, to the song you know? that's that's the, the whole thing yeah that's not the line that's the line that's Sorry, the line, i haven't yeah. played it in a long time <laughs> but, but uh but, but you're anyway, right yeah it's it's really part of the song you know and i guess as you mature um and we get older you know at the beginning it was like oh my god look how fast that solo is yeah and yeah. then as you get older it's like oh no or if you look at well if you look at <clears> david gilmore yeah. With uh, comfortably numb, no, that's yeah. not a fast solo at all. Slow, but it's slow. It's amazing matter. as fuck, it's right? But best, it's yeah. like yeah, one of the best ever, right? Yeah. It's, and that's what it's all about: is how does it fit the song? Yeah. And, and uh, it's good that we learn that. Yeah. Um, I want to get to a segment now. I could ask more questions, but sure. this because this segment is going to take a little I like, while. I like guitar questions. <laughs> you like, like it? Well, this one's going to pick your brain big time. Okay. And I do it all the time because it's such a fun drill to do. Okay. I like to. If you had to pick your band, mm -hmm. okay, but you're not in it, so you're picking your all-time favorite bands. You're picking every musician. So my, my all-star band. Yeah, like of of musicians, dead or alive. Uh, oh. Now, what's hard about this is putting together. Because you have to limit to like one drummer, right? Yeah, well, like kind of. It's like a two drummers. You could have two guitar drums. players if you want a rhythm and a. You know, like yeah, you like, kind of have to think of the concept of the band. Yeah, that. Oh, you know, you can't have Eddie Eddie Van Halen and, and like a crazy no, super fast like a, bass player no, like it won't it jive, work, you know. So it's it's putting together a band. If you want a keyboard player, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You know, if you're going blues rock, you could have rhythm and lead. You could have you know backup singers, oh, whatever. That's not, man. that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's not fair. I don't think we could handle that. One. It's it's a hard one. It's a hard Who one. would be your backbone drummer? Like just start with that. Oh, it's <laughs> so hard, eh? It's a, it's a tough one. I have it's to a, say, it's, it's a tough one. But it's fun to do. Because, yeah, because what's, what's the kind of band you're trying to build? I'm not going to put, you know, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna put you know Ringo Starr in a metal band, you know. What I mean? Exactly, I love, exactly, I love Ringo and all that. exactly. He probably fake some of it, but he's not gonna. So you know, I start. Um, I'm a drummer. And I play piano and drums, but okay. I'm a drummer. So I start with the drummer, and and then I'll work around that. Yeah, I try to drive. So I'm a Jeff Porcaro fan. I like his mm. shuffle. I like the. Yeah, yeah. I, I just like that feel, that vibe. Yeah. Doesn't mean that's my favorite, because you know the hard rock was. I pick. I would pick a John Bonham over that. Yeah, but if I was starting, uh, I would like go with that shuffle. Yeah, exactly. You know? I want to try to find a drummer that could handle it all. Yeah, right. That's the thing. Um, you know, it's like I mean, Bonham. Point, yeah. Bonham's great, but then again, you get Charlie Watts who could just swing just it you forever. Switch, you switch. You could True. swing and the rock and the shuffle. True. And yeah. Ringo too. Ringo, Ringo, very creative because he 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 like the Ringo, guitar man. play. It was a written part. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, I feel fine. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, that's a. Actually, I know. No, that was ticket to ride. Ticket, ticket, right. yeah, to uh, Yeah, exactly. But so, like, uh, I feel fine. He does the tom work. Yeah, dun, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I play with the hyphen, so there so all these '60s Beatles, nice original. Uh, <laughs> those beats are at first. It's like when I joined them, I knew yeah. Beatles songs. Yeah. And I knew some Rolling Stones. I didn't know that yeah. music and. You know, they send me the set list, and of course, it's like fucking 50 songs because every song is two minutes long. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, it's a lot. But then I dug into, you know, Ringo Starr. Like, oh, yeah, you start appreciating all the I little thought nuances. like Twist and Shout was easy, and it is, but it it's like, no, no, this guy, his nuances were like, whoa, yeah. what the fuck? Some of the songs I can't count. Exactly. <laughs> how the fuck did he count it? Like, how the hell did he go there? Yeah, and he, he but was, he did it. He was played upside down it, to the left. yeah exactly so, yeah yeah, yeah exactly the toms for uh, come together are yeah. you are you going with uh, Ringo Starr I would lean a little more toward I think I would go with Charlie Charlie Watts Charlie okay Watts a little bit more okay. love Ringo yeah don't get me wrong, but, I, but I would lean towards Charlie okay he could groove he could get a little heavy too so what's the bass player that would that would suit oh, man. yeah right 
<laughs> well, it's going to be stupid because then I'm going to just end up being talking about the Rolling Stones. Right? <laughs> It's not, it's not good. I, I don't like this question. It's, <laughs> it's too hard. It's too hard. Well, I do. I, I well, I think flea. I think flea could cover pretty much anything. Right. I. I he's heavy my pick. And really funky, and then not overplay either. Too, yeah. You know? So you know. Because you you know the guitar players. Covering. Well, we're guitar players. Let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. I mean, guitar player is gonna handle the bulk of the. The riffs yeah. and, and stuff like that. So the bass player can't be too busy, right? Yeah. I find. Really and I like flea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, who are we going? Are we going with two guitar players or one? I don't know. <laughs> this is hard, man. It's really a hard segment. It's a, good, it's a very good segment, but I, I should have been more prepared. It's a different. Well, you then, then I know I list. didn't. I, I should have. Yeah, time, I should have. I you I'll know put what? some real thought into it. To man. be I'll fair, go. I never. I never told, tell anybody. I, I just, because oh, I, I get it off the, that you know. That's just for my benefit. <laughs> I, get, I get it. Um, <laughs> no, I never, I never tell them, I never s s prepare them with this because yeah, it's yeah. such a. It's fun to it's, catch It's fun to, guard. yeah. Um, well, who would be the front person? That's important. Not sure if I want a front, uh, if, I, if I want a front man as a singer or a front, or a front man with the who plays, you know. Got or, you. See, that's that's you know that's interesting that you could put together a really cool band that way. Uh, also, let's see, how could one play off the other one? I honestly really don't know. <laughs> I'm saying that, but then after I'm like, oh, man, wait, wait that's not going to work. Charlie gonna, Watts would flee? How's that going to work? He's driving home. He's going to... I'm going to put Van Halen on there. Why? That doesn't work. No, peanut butter and, and sawdust. <laughs> I really don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> or you could base the whole band off Van Halen, right? And then I put the musicians. I, you look so distressed. Have <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> another shot. Give him another shot. I think. <laughs> well, I'm going to have another <laughs> shot just because it's it'll fun. Come, it'll come easier. <laughs> Would you like, like another little no, bit of. Goodness. You're good? Okay. No, I, 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 yeah, I mean. I would, I would, I would probably go with like Roger Daltrey. See, he's got beautiful. The, he's, got the, he's great yeah. man and he's got the vocal chops. Yeah, absolutely, him. absolutely. That you totally works. Too. Yeah. Do yeah, you like a, one guitar player that does it all? That's a, that's. A, it that's could a, also be you. Imagine you playing with these no, guys. No, I don't, I don't. I'd be too shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, it's Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> he's staring. <You> know? <laughs> <laughs> See, we changed chords. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I'm right, coming. Right. Oh, yeah, sorry, right. Flea. <laughs> sorry, Flea. Sorry, <laughs> Flea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean Jimmy Page, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, or well, I see the, the the putting two guitarists is a could be a bit of a problem. I would go with yeah. probably a guitarist and a keyboard player. Yeah. So maybe a keyboard player like sure, like uh, Steve Winwood. Yeah, great. Who also plays guitar? Who also too, plays guitar? Saying, yeah. So there you go. He, he, yeah. That's three. That's three it's problems to fall, solve right that's there. Just, say that work. I yeah. saw him play with Tito Puente. Believe that or not. Oh yeah. Tito Puente's band was playing. Tito Puente's timbal player. Yeah. Fucking Steve Winwood comes out and sings yeah. like four or five songs with the Tito Puente band. I was like, what the fuck? I'm in Metropolis. Yeah. Long time before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was. No. Uh, it was 90. No, I was born. <laughs> you were born? Okay. 90, but I, I was born. It was uh, 97, 98? Yeah, oh, yeah, I was like born. That. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, guitarist. Uh, guitarist, I have no clue. Too many to pick from. Yeah, especially that you study it and you. Yeah, that, that's hard. You know? Did you go to school for guitar? Like, did you? No, I, t I took uh, private lessons from okay. a guy in uh, Saint Anne de Bellevue. Called, okay. Uh, Doug Miller. Okay. Cool. Uh, great guy. Great. He uh, um, was a really, really good teacher, and, and he really. He was. He was really a. a he, he did everything, but he was really a jazz. Jazz guy. guy. And he, he said, "Like, I'm going to show you the basic." I'm gonna show you yeah. the base to get you going, but what you really gotta start to do, you know, I gotta learn more of these jazzier chords because it's harder. Yeah. And then once you get those pretty good, it'll make the rest it, comes easier. Yeah, it'll make it much easier. Yeah. So I should be a lot better at jazz than I am, <laughs> admittedly. But you know, I, 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 you know. The bossa nova stuff, the, or the swing you know. stuff, yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, so I can I can fake my way through uh, through something. See if he sees this, if he's like, you did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a quick example. But I mean, jazz, it, yeah, it oh, yeah. is. It, so and, and and then he also showed me some bluegrass runs. 
Well, he was successful at showing you. <laughs> you know, just the... That works. Things like that just to get you. I'm a little sloppy, sorry. What? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> that, that's Holy shit. Yeah. That sounds great, man. But uh, so yeah, just just everything and the scales and the. So he gave you he gave you enough. Um, I don't want to say material, but enough. No, he opened enough your the building blocks. I guess. Building blocks to open yeah. your mind to trying everything. Because yeah, I find I, say, yeah. I find nowadays that's it's it gets very um, the guys that go to school get very. And not everyone, of course, but, no, but they I, get very I, jazz heavy. Yeah, I know, and then I, the rockers are very rock heavy, and then it's like. Yeah, I, find, I, I mean, I've encountered some some people like, or especially classical, which I never understood that you know they could do extremely complex, Bach yeah. and all that. But if you want them to just play down a groove, <laughs> a lot of them can't, and I don't understand yeah. that. You know, it's yeah. just like doing Hey Joe. Yeah. And that that groove is not there, right? I get it. Yeah. You know, just okay, it's simple chords. You know, uh, yeah. you're not catching it. You're doing yeah. <laughs> and do the cross hand stuff. I'm like, I, I find that I play a lot of Italian. Like back in the day, I still do quite a bit. But with so we play in a wedding band as well, corporate yeah. wedding band, and I did a lot of Italian music. Yeah, which is easy. Mm -hmm. But some of the the, some, tarantella and, the uh, tarantellas, the waltzes, well, and some for, polkas. Tarantella, you know, and it's. Three chords, it's always the same, yeah. almost always the same chord, depending on what key you're in. And the vocals tells you when to change. Like you hear yeah, the, vo you hear like, the vocal, like so guys that can play, like you said, a complex jazz tune and every chord in the world, mm -hmm. but yet those three, they can't follow the structure of that. Yeah, I guess a lot of people just end up too glued to the to the page instead yeah. of actually listening. And exactly, playing, exactly. Playing yeah, yeah. Because even the most, you know, the best virtuosos in the world, you know. They're not perfect either, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's know. hard to get that hybrid kind of. If you have to read, you can. If you have to listen, you can. Mix yeah, it up. I, I, do know, it all. Can, do it all. If you, you know. can, do it all. And I same can't really like you read, do. unfortunately, but you know, I go by ear. And just I'm sure you can to... read. You can read. Ah, well, you can read. A little, very, very, very slowly. You can read. You can read a lead chart, right? Like just mm, chords and form. Not really. No. No, afraid not. <laughs> but then again, you don't have to because. Well, I, I have a I have a pretty good ear, so I could I could catch it pretty good. You, you know? know, and so far so far a pretty good memory. Well, so. because that's more important than anything, because the reading yeah. part. So that's the thing. It's it's good to read, and it's it's better to listen. Yeah, and just much better. You're you're you know, in it too. You're in it. Uh, you know, like oh, my page fell or something. Like, yeah, oh, they're lost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, again, the, with your experience, you would if you took half an hour and I you know I would kind of like show well, you maybe you'd be like oh my god okay yeah. <laughs> right it gets it gets more complicated with the single notes yeah but it's not I find it's if you're reading those single notes punches shots mm -hmm. a lot of musicians can do it but it does take the feel out mm -hmm. you're like like you're really studying it and it's yeah. not going to come out like you know when you hit uh no, 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 no. you know that yeah, that's yeah. man it's, it's got to you got to feel that you yeah know? I mean, Cool. So, so ah, that feel is so good. Or hey, Joel, like you feel. said, it's all the it's feel, all the, right? It's all the attitude. So fun. I love that it's song. Fun. Anyway. I could uh, not have fun doing that. It's, it's, too, it's so fun. fun. It's it is supposed fun. to be. It fun. is supposed to be fun. Yeah. My son, who's a heavy rocker, oh yeah. My son, I argue with my son. He's 17, mm -hmm. and Metallica. That's the sellout album, according to him. The sellout album. <laughs> he called, the Black Album is the sellout album. Oh come on, man! Because they commercialized their music, yeah. and they actually made money with that album because Bob yeah, Rock did. produced yeah. it. And they actually, you know, tripled yeah. their fans with that one. Yeah. So had some great songs on that one, man. I found that amazing. I found that yeah. I got me more into yeah. Metallica. I went to listen to their old stuff because of that. Exactly. And but for him, it's like, well, as a true fan, it was, it you was know, battery and all that, which is cool too. Yeah, it was the old stuff and Master, Master it's Puppets. Got, man. Come yeah. on, it's good, it's good. It's but fun. I would like to hear Master done with the audio quality of the oh, Black yeah, Album. It would yeah. be amazing, and right? Answer, like, hey, we should really re record <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so where can we find all of your? Is it website, uh, Facebook, yeah. uh, Instagram, yeah, uh, that kind well, of stuff? It's, it's all of it. I have uh, paulostanti.com. Okay. And there you can see where I'm, I have videos and links to Spotify, 
Apple Music. All, 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 all the albums are available on all streaming platforms. Amazing. On the website, you can see where I'm playing and with who because I, I play with multiple bands. Gotcha. So I identify. Is there a place where you can, like, if people want to listen to the album and you can, like, donate some money kind of thing? There's, I know some websites yeah, some have of that, but I, may, it's, I have to, I'm in the middle of it because I ran into some technical problems. Gotcha. Put, okay. Put it on Bandcamp. But, like I said, it's on, it's on all streaming, you know, Spotify. Yeah. Apple Music, YouTube Music, mm -hmm. all, all uh, Amazon as well. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you, you can find me on uh, on uh, Instagram, uh, Paolo underscore Stante, and okay. Facebook. You can find me all, all over the place. Okay, but, and but PaoloStante dot com, and it'll send. You, I have links to everything. It'll send you everywhere you need to go. So you're YouTube, playing all, all over the city with different projects, and different there projects, you can see. Yeah, yeah can see okay. where and when and with who I'm playing with. Okay, do you have any festivals coming up? Like, uh... yeah, uh, I was lucky enough. Uh, we uh, we got into the uh, Montreal Blues Festival. Oh, the Blues Festival, that's great. We did that in 2019 before all hell broke loose. <laughs> so it's good to be back. Uh, Absolutely. We're on one of the stages uh, on on uh, July 10th. Okay, cool. Uh, doing an hour set at 3 p.m. Wow, oh. that's a fun. Later, that's a fun gig. And at later that night, we're at uh, the Pizzi Caribou, one of the one of the restaurant yeah. bars. Yeah. There, so and we're I doing two there. sets at night, like at 10 o'clock. Cool. So playing playing twice. So one hour and then. Uh, and then two hours at night. That's great. Two, two one hours. Have you ever done? You've done the trombone gig. Before? I've done it in 2019. Okay. But oh. only the. Uh, <laughs> and God the, said, "Let there be light." Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Anyway, well, we're yeah. almost done. So we'll let this go. Uh, okay. So trauma. That's a that's a that's a fun that's gig. A one, it's yeah. a lot of and, uh, a lot of stuff uh, now and in between. Just go on the website. You'll you'll find me around. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And um, okay. So guys, you have to check out Paulo Stante. You know what? We gotta hook up because next year, this year it's too late. But Ital Fest. Mm. You're Italian. Sure am. We yeah. can do something with that. Northern, from my father's Perfect. side. Perfect. Northern. My my brothers take out well, the mom's so side. you're so northern that your 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 Santa Claus is next door neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's better that way. It's you know everyone's dark haired Italian. This is a more it's great. Unicorn. I didn't. I honestly unicorn. had no. I mean, I saw the name, uh, but I had no idea that you were Italian. Which yeah. is great. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> mom and dad. Amazing. Oh, wow, awesome. amazing. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to thank you so much thank for coming so on the much. show. A lot of fun, man. You played great. Comfortable. I normally get really nervous with these nah, things. Nah, man, it's a lot oh, of fun. So it's a lot nervous. of fun. A lot of fun. Hope to do it again, though. You sound great. Uh, guys, you got to check out Paulo Stante. All the original stuff, as he said. A website, there's links to everything. Apple Music, all of that stuff. Apple Music, uh, Spotify, YouTube Music. Check it out. Keep subscribing on Sessions with Steph. We also have a sister podcast, Let's Talk It Out. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. A lot of good guests there. Um, I believe you, last episode, you saw a live podcast, which was a lot of fun. We did an album launch of an artist, Johnny Bodo, and it was a lot of fun. I actually did a podcast with a live studio audience uh, after an album launch. It was oh, nice. really cool. A lot of different and uh, a lot of fun with that. I know that guy. You yeah. know that guy, Johnny Bodo, you is know. This guy loves, loves you too. He yeah, looks, yeah, yeah, he yeah, is, him and Bono, yeah. Where is this guy? I don't know. He's, he, he did an album launch. He's a talented motherfucker. Yeah, he's very good, guy. very you talented. Too, you too, Forget about you. what he looks like. He's very talented. <laughs> <laughs> very talented. So, guys, once again, thank you. Subscribe, share, tell your friends, comment, do all of that stuff. Guido, thanks for sticking around. Lisa, thank you. Paulo, thank you so much, guys. Sessions with Steph is now done.